Is there any package in your system that you installed before but now you want to remove? Or not? You can do so at the same time in 5 different methods. So in this tutorial, I will guide you through all those. And do check the description for links and comments. In Linux, packages can be removed using both CLI and GUI. I will show you both approaches. So let's start. CLI or command line interface is a command line tool for Linux where you can type or execute commands directly. It uses built-in package management tools to remove a package and its dependencies. Apt is a powerful package management system that simplifies software removal as well as installation by handling dependencies automatically. To remove a package with all dependencies, type sudo apt auto remove team viewer and hit enter press y to continue with this command apt will remove team viewer from the system with all unused dependencies however apt get command can also do the same all you need to do is just replace apt with apt get and hit enter here you can see package TeamViewer is not installed because I have removed it already. But in this case, if TeamViewer was installed in your system, then you can use this command also to remove TeamViewer. But there is a problem. These two commands can remove the dependencies only, but keep the configuration files. So, if you want to remove the configuration file also, you have to use the command sudo apt auto remove dash dash parch then the package name or file name which is team viewer and see all the configuration files are also deleted snap is a self-contained package that includes an application and its dependencies designed for easy installation and removal without affecting other parts of the system to view the list of a snap package run the command snap list so type snap remove firefox and hit enter providing my password and the removal of firefox snap is successful dpkg is a low level package manager that provides a dpkg package management tool this tool can also be used for adding or removing packages. dpkg provides the facility to remove packages with some selective dependency. So, if you have the Debian file of the package you want to remove with dependencies, you can use dpkg. For that, open the terminal and navigate to the downloads folder with the command cd downloads. Now type ls to see the list of contents. And here you can see the Debian file of TeamViewer. Now, to view all the dependencies, run this command. And here you can see the list of the dependencies of TeamViewer package. Suppose I want to remove the dependency libminizip1. So I am copying the dependency name and typing sudo dpkg-r, the package name TeamViewer and the dependency name libminizip1. For your information, if you want to remove more than one dependency, by writing them separately by space. I just want to remove this package, so I am keeping it like this and now hitting on the enter button. And here you can see libminizip1 dependency has been removed. And if you want to remove the entire software package with all the unnecessary dependencies, type sudo dpkg-r and the package name teamviewer and hit enter. And here you can see TeamViewer package has been removed with all the dependencies. Now here is a tips for you. If you don't have the Debian file or don't know the directory where it is, you can use this command. And look all the dependencies are here. In Ubuntu, you can also manage software packages using GUI. Synaptic Package Manager and Ubuntu Genome Software are the two most commonly used GUI package management tools. Let's know how to use these tools to remove a package and dependencies in Ubuntu. 
Synaptic Package Manager is a GUI tool for Debian-based Linux distributions. It can handle dependencies and other package management tasks such as installing, removing, and updating packages effectively. To remove packages and dependencies using Synaptic, click on the Show Applications icon and search for Synaptic Package Manager. Click on that. Provide your password. Now click on the search and search for the package team viewer. Click on the package you want to remove and then select mark for complete removal and then click on apply. Now close and Synaptic Package Manager has removed team viewer completely from the system. Ubuntu Software Center also known as Genome Software. It provides a graphical interface for installing and removing software on Ubuntu. When you use it to install a software package, it will typically handle the removal of any dependencies that were automatically installed alongside the package. So let's learn how to do it. But before that, you have to install the genome software. For that, open the terminal and enter the command sudo app install genome software. So genome software is installed. Now run the command genome software. Click on installed. Now scroll down to the package you want to remove. Suppose I want to remove the Firefox. So click on uninstall. And yes, genome software has removed Firefox and its dependencies from the system. While many package managers in Ubuntu automatically manage missing dependencies, challenges may still arise. For instance, unintended removal. Be cautious when using commands like apt auto remove or apt remove with packages that have a large number of dependencies. Configuration files. Removing configuration files with apt remove are often retained by default. If you want to remove them, you need to use apt purge or apt dash dash purge remove. Dependency conflicts. Sometimes removing a package can result in dependency conflicts if multiple packages share the same dependencies. Dependencies marked as manually installed. Packages installed as dependencies are marked as automatically installed by default. Using apt auto remove can remove these automatically installed packages. It can lead to the removal of the packages you might still need. System unstable. If you are unsure about the consequences of removing a package and its dependencies, this may lead to an unstable system. To conclude, from the command line using apt snap and dpkg to the user-friendly GUI options like Synaptic or Genome, you can remove packages with its dependencies of Ubuntu software. That's all for it. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you.